What's going on guys, my name is Chris Pasuka and welcome to my channel. Here I talk about photography, being a good person, striving to be better, happiness, doing what you love, and I wrap that all up into a cinematic roller coaster. Today we're talking about how the decisions you make have a way bigger impact on people and on this world in general than you think. You ready for a ride? Let's do it. So over the last 10 years of my life, I've slowly been making worse and worse decisions. And it's not that all the decisions I'm making are bad, but the bad ones started to pile up. Okay, that's better. So for those of you who are new here, I've been an alcoholic for a long time and I haven't had a good relationship with myself or the world in general up until about the last year and a half. My bad decisions have caused me pain and setbacks in all areas of my life, from my health to my career. I was only thinking about the present and I was letting the future unfold in a not so appealing way, as it will inevitably if you're not planning for it at all. This quick fix being happy now lifestyle has led me to so much greater unhappiness in the long run. If you're curious, no, I don't live like that anymore, thankfully. I've found some fulfillment in my life through hard work and getting my act together. I've got a taste for it at least, if nothing else. As far as I can remember, I wasn't a bad person to other people. I just didn't really care about anything. And that led to that chaos-driven lifestyle. But because of this lifestyle, I've impacted the world in a negative way many, many times. And I have to live with knowing that's the case. All right. <laughs> We're heading to a spot that I found in a video that I made called Start Being Selfish, and I think it's gonna be epic for sunset. So stay tuned for an epic sunset later on. Whoop. If you love sunsets and adventure, hit that subscribe button, because that's what I'm all about. Let's do it. It's so nice in here, I love these trails. Okay, so I've talked about how my bad decisions, my poor decisions have affected my life and my experience with this world, but what I haven't talked about is the other people that have been affected by my poor decisions and how much have they been affected. You know when someone's in a bad mood or they're just a downright pessimistic person and that vibe, that energy that they give off and the words that they say, they have an impact on you. Like you really feel it when you're around them. Even if it's not directed towards you, being in the presence of pain and anger and frustration can have a huge impact on you. Okay, so let's expand this now. This is also known as a ripple effect. So if I'm making poor decisions and I say or act in a bad, angry, frustrated, mean way, this energy is gonna be transferred to all the people around me in my general vicinity, or in the room that I'm in, or in general earshot of me. Remember, even if you aren't directing this energy towards them, but it hits way harder if you are. So now you've transferred your pain and anger onto someone else. Now at this point, it definitely depends on the person, but most people in general are not good at receiving these kind of emotions. So it really affects them, and it could be stuck in their head for a couple hours, a day, a week, even a month at times. It depends on the person receiving the emotions and the information and how they're built to handle that. So this might throw them off their game, and then they might even be taking out their anger and frustration on someone that they know. Especially if this is a common thing, and they're surrounded by these kinds of emotions and people on a daily basis. This is going to build up and build up, and it's got to go somewhere. Are you starting to see how your decisions can affect and change this world? <laughs> Now this can spread through thousands and thousands of people, affecting people you don't even know. Another big thing is if you're making reckless decisions, like you might even hurt someone or worst case scenario, you could accidentally kill someone. Imagine what kind of an impact that could have. So let's not get to that point, shall we? Now what if you stopped or at least cut back on all the bad decisions you were making? 
Like, what's the alternative to all of this? Well, not only are you gonna be improving your life drastically and saving yourself so much pain, but from all of that not crashing down on you, you won't be affecting other people in a negative way. In fact, if you're making good decisions and seeing the benefits of those good decisions, well, your life's gonna completely flip around and you might even be going out of your way to help improve other people's lives. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. What if you continued to do this for a month, a year, a decade? Instead of spreading hate and frustration and pain, you are spending positivity and optimism and kind words and introspection and just good in general. Imagine what kind of impact you could have. Nowadays, it's easier than ever to spread emotions. You can choose how you affect this world and it will have a much bigger impact than you're ever aware of, than you can ever imagine. Let's go! <laughs> Amazing. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go down there, hit the like button, be something positive you did today. I'd greatly appreciate it. Subscribe as well so you know the second I put out another video, and I will see you guys next time.